Hey everybody, this is Chris Demetric here from TDW Woodworks. Uh, years back, my dad had made a series of Adirondack chairs that all came up pretty good. They liked to paint them bright colors and stuff. And along with those chairs, they made some uh, footstools. And these footrests, as you can see, didn't last as long as the chairs. It was made with pine and it's down in the water. So they've seen some better days and I'm not sure if he was going to toss them out or fix them up. I'm sure he was going to fix them up, but I grabbed them. I said, Dad, let me take care of this for you. Um, basically, just going to be replacing some of these. I think instead of going with a basic pine, um, I'll, I'll use a hardwood for the legs. Uh, but let's uh, see what we can do about recovering this and, and remaking it so that uh, when they have their big event coming up soon, they'll have all these colorful footstools. So... I'll work on that and see what, uh, what it takes to, to rebuild and remake these things so they'll last another 20 years. All right, so what I did is I started out by just disassembling the old one. Uh, and with examining the wood, I realized it was pretty pretty bad, badly dry rotted. Uh, so once I started pulling the screws out, they were a little troubled until I realized he used square drive. Then I actually... They all popped out good. I disassembled the old thing so I could use those as templates to make the new one. And I just laid that bad boy down and used it as a template to cut out the, uh, the new ones. I needed four of these feet so I just got ahead and laid them down between the blade and the fence made sure there was enough clearance there and I used that as the template to cut the four at the right width I got no measuring needed just uh, laying it down and seeing where you're picking it. So over at the miter saw, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down those boards I just cut and uh, I match it up with one of the, uh, the pieces from the original and just use that guide. I'm going to move it right up against the blade. Then I don't need to measure it. I can just cut and continue on cutting them to the length I need and not have to worry about grabbing a tape measure. One of the things I noticed was the width of the original ones were actually the thickness of a 2x. So once I moved it up and uh, ripped them down using the thickness of the 2x as the width and cutting them to length. So what you see here is me setting up a jig so that I can do a center the countersink and pre-drilling the holes for those slats. You know, it's pine, it splits easy, so the pre-drilling is really a requirement. Just laying out everything so I can start rebuilding it and uh, should have taken a picture of it beforehand, but this is pretty simple construction. Now I can sure I can figure it out.
Well, there you have it. I think it came out pretty good. Not one bit of measuring needed. No measuring tape uh, required, I guess. So thanks for watching. This is Chris Dermetric from TDW Woodworks, and have yourself a great day.